Welcome back to Thumbcraft Quick. In this episode, I'll show you how to use the research table to learn new aspects of Thumbcraft. If you open your Thumbonomicon, you'll see different kinds of icons. Some are lit up, some are dark, and some are flashing. The ones that are lit up are things you already understand and can go into. The ones that are dark are things you don't have an ability to understand right now. The ones that are flashing are things you can research, getting a research note for them. So, if you click on a flashing one, you'll get a research note. That is, assuming you have scribing tools and paper in your inventory. And it does use some of the scribing tools, ink, and the paper to get that research note. If you don't have something in your inventory, like if I didn't have scribing tools, and I went back into the book and tried to get this one, you can see that I need scribing tools and paper to get a research note. All right, if we go back in here, we put our research note in the table and we can start the research game. However, these aspects are dark. They're question marks. We don't understand them yet. I'm gonna have to learn more about the aspects of magic before I can do this note. So, I'm gonna go learn the aspects of magic and come back and I'll show you how to play the game to do this research note. Be back in a flash. All right, I'm back from discovering the aspects and I know all of them now, so now we no longer have question marks in the grid, we know the actual aspects, cognitio and census. So now all we have to do is connect these aspects together by using the hex tiles. To do that, we drag an aspect from the table over to the grid. If it connects, it'll light up. If it doesn't, it'll be dark. Metallum won't connect to Cognitio, so if we drag it over here, it's going to be dark. I can left click and remove it, and that's fine, but I did lose a point of Metallum. I've got a lot of Metallum, so I'm not worried about that right now, but I did lose a point, so you don't want to just waste things. You want to be sure what you're trying to connect. So, what will connect? Anything will connect if it's made up of the aspect next to it, or it's a component of the aspect you're placing. So, Cognitio is Ignis and Spiritus. So I can place either Ignis or Spiritus, or anything that has Cognitio as a component aspect. So, one thing that has that is Humanus, which is Cognitio and Bestia. So if I place Humanus, they will connect. Perfect. Now I can place something that has Humanus, Cognitio or Bestia, or something that has Humanus in it, like Fabrico. Fabrico is Humanus and Instrumentum. So they connect. Then I can place Instrumentum, which, is, which has Fabrico as a component, and it also has Ordo as a component, so they connect. So, we're halfway there. Now all we have to do is connect something over to Census. Doesn't have to be one of the first aspects. It can be anything as long as there's a solid line connecting all the aspects together. All right, so Ordo is a component in Modus, which has Air and Ordo. Something that has modus is Velatus, flight, which has air and modus. And since it has air in it, we can connect it to census as well, because census has air and spiritus. So air is in Velatus, air is in spiritus. And now the hex grid is gone, we've solved our note. So take the discovery out, put it on your hotbar, and right click to unlock that discovery. If you go into your Thalmonomicon, you'll see Research Expertise is lit up and it's glowing because it's new. Alright, what did this get us? So, we lost that point of Metallum when we removed it from the grid. However, there's now a 1 in 4 chance we won't lose, or we will get that point back. We can also see what aspects are made up of other aspects. So, Lemus is Victus and Water. So that's the component aspects of Lemus. We couldn't see these before, but now we can. It'll make it easier to do research. One more thing that's easy to do research is Research Mastery, but we'll get to that another time. Catch you next time.